What is going on everybody? My name is JLF Victory and I am bringing you guys the second episode to Investor's Corner. So in this video, me and my friend Alex, Alex, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, what's up guys? I'm Cheddar Bob on PlayStation and on the subreddit. So we met on the subreddit. Uh, he made a post. I talked about this last video, but just to sum you guys up, if you did not see it, uh, we met on the subreddit. He made a post about investing and making money on Ultimate Team. I was like, hey, I was thinking about bringing that to my YouTube channel, so we decided to partner up, and we've come up with it, Investor's Corner. So, we kind of gave some bad advice last week. Um, we, we were both expecting that last week it would have been, or this past team of the season, it was going to be Serie A, and this next one would be League One. But EA Sports decided to release both of them at the same time, so I know I definitely <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Alex, were you? Uh, not, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, so that, that caught us both off guard, so hopefully we didn't give anyone any bad advice. But I think we can both be pretty confident in saying that La Liga will be next, and that should be released next Wednesday. And for La Liga, the locks that we have is, we, we have three sections that we're going to talk about. The locks, uh, the risks, and future investments. So the locks that we have for La Liga, do you want to go over them, Alex? Uh, yeah, the first one uh, we have is Di Maria. Uh, he's leading the league in assists, and he's just had a fantastic season for Real Madrid. Um, he's going for about 20k on PlayStation, and what did you say, like 11k yeah, he's, he's on just, Xbox? Yeah, he's a little bit above 11k on Xbox. All right, so if you just pick up a couple of those, I could see him easily going up a few uh, thousand coins. So if you pick up a bunch, that will really add up. Yeah, so if you don't have the coins for Di Maria, because, I mean, that can add up. Just think about it. If you pick up 10 Di Marias, that's going to cost you, if you're on Xbox, about 100K, and if you're on PlayStation, PlayStation, about 200K. So another, we have two other locks, uh, as you guys can see on the screen. And then the other one, we have two others. We have Diego Costa. He's going for about 1.7K on Xbox and about 3.5K on PS3. So that is one that definitely, if you don't have that many coins, you can make a lot of profit off of. Me, personally, I picked up a couple Tevezes, or I picked up, like, 10 of them um, this past week. I picked them up for, like, 3.5K, and I sold them on for, like, 5.5K. So I made about 2K profit on each of them, which adds up. So just 10 cards, that was 20K profit. I know, Alex, you picked up a couple Chiellinis or something? Is that what you did? Yeah, Chiellini did really well for me. I was picking them up for about 4,000 and selling them for around five. Yeah, so Costa, we're pretty certain that he's had a great year for, for Atletico Madrid. They've won the league today, recording this on Saturday. Uh, he's up there in goals and, and assists, and we just, we're just we pretty confident that he'll be in team of the season. And the last one uh, the, for the lock that we have is Courtois. He's had a fantastic season for Atletico Madrid. He has been very, very vital for them winning the league. Uh, he leads the league in clean sheets. I want to say that he has 19 clean sheets uh, this season for, for uh, Atletico Madrid. And then the next guy is like Diego Lopez and some guy named Navas, I want to say. And they're both tied with 15. And Atletico Madrid's also allowed the least amount of goals this year with only 25. And then I want to say Barcelona's second with uh, 32 goals. So he's had a great season. The whole entire uh, back line for Atletico, Atletico Madrid has had a great year. But we're pretty pretty certain that Courtois will have, have a team this season. I think he's got one. I know he had one last year. He might have even had one on FIFA 12. Um, yeah, I think he did, actually. He yeah, so this guy has consistently been in, been in team of the season, and I don't see why they would take him out this year. So do you want to talk about a couple risks or some risks that we have going forward? Um, yeah, one of the big risks you can take is Champions League final investing. Um, so Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid are playing in the final of the Champions League, and that's probably the last really big match before the World Cup. Um, you A smart thing to do would just be pick up a couple players from both teams, but if you really, really want to risk it and just gamble on who you think will have a good game, so let's say you think Benzema is going to score a few goals. If you pick up a couple of him, if he does score a few goals, his price is going to skyrocket. So just be careful. I, I wouldn't invest all of it in one player unless you're, you're feeling really ballsy because that's I don't know, that's probably the biggest risk that you'll have this entire year. Yeah, and if you don't uh, don't follow football as much and you don't really know who's going to do well, you could kind of gamble. Um, well, I guess this doesn't even matter. But you could also gamble on other players that you think might get a team of the season, but you're not entirely sure. An example of this is like Fabregas. He's had a really good season for um, for Barcelona. He's up there in assists and he might get one, but it wouldn't be a surprise if he didn't get one. So that is a player that 
you could also invest in, I don't know, do you know any other players that are kind of on the cusp of being in team of the season? I guess like Benzema too, right? Yeah, Benzema and Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez has had a pretty good year. Um, I think he's he has a bunch of assists and a lot of goals. So he's, it's just hard to compare him with Ronaldo and Messi and Diego Costa. So I wouldn't guarantee he'd be in it. Yeah, so we're almost positive that like Costa and Courtois and Di Maria will be in there. But Alexis Sanchez and um, Fabregas, they might be in there. It wouldn't be a big surprise, but it wouldn't be a big su- surprise if they uh, weren't in there. So the last segment um, for this episode today is future investments. And you want to talk about one, Alex? Uh, yeah, The right now it, there's a lot of team of the season players that are going for pretty cheap. I mean, you can pick up some for around 15K. Um, I think if you hold on to those guys for about a month or two, I think they could go up in price. So, I mean... Just pick some up, uh, maybe try some out that you ha- you were hesitating to try before, um, and just play with them for a while, and hopefully they will go up. I think they will, personally. Yeah, because... So I think that's a good long-term investment. Yeah, obviously, it's going to take a little while, so if you're someone that's long coins, I wouldn't highly suggest this, um, because you'll definitely be out of those coins for a little bit. But we don't really see the players' prices dropping anymore. We only see them rising, because they're out of packs, and there's just going to be less of them on the market, but... If someone's going to want a team of the season player, there's going to be less of them, so they'll pay a higher price for them. So I'm, do you want to say anything else about this episode, Alex? Uh, no, I think we covered it all. Yeah, so I we really do hope you guys enjoy this. I think we're pretty, giving some pretty good advice. Hopefully EA Sports doesn't uh, ch- change their game plan and release <laughs> some, some like random league uh, next Wednesday. Uh, but if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're from the Reddit, leave it in the comment section down below because I think Alex will make a post on Reddit also about this. Um, mm-hmm. So, like I said, we really hope you guys do enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Leave it, ask it on Reddit. We'll do our best to respond, uh, and we'll see you guys next time. See you. All right.